Wow, listen to that. That sound you heard is the exclusive video of a truck plowing into a car on the side of a neighborhood road. Now, you can see we zoomed in, highlighted the portion of the video. It, you can see it. And if you look there, it's the truck pushing the car down the street. You can hear it sort of scraping the pavement and then drove off. The owner of that car tells Action News Jax that his car is now totaled. I'm John Bachman. I'm Letitia Barriola in for Tanika Hughes. Only Action News Jax Elizabeth Pace spoke to the car's owner. She is live in that East Arlington neighborhood. And Elizabeth, the man says he's concerned for students because there's a bus stop nearby. He says this just shows the kind of dangers that that could bring in this neighborhood. I'm standing next to the car right now. They put a piece of cardboard on it to try to protect what's left of this card. They said we could take it off for this live shot and look at the damage over here in this car. The whole back window smashed. We can see glass th shattered throughout this area. Different parts mangled. The lights busted out. The owner of this car says that he hopes someone might be able to recognize that truck driver to try to hold them responsible. It was 6 o'clock Thursday morning. Neighbors in the Waterleaf community woke up to this noise. A commercial truck slammed into a red car parked on the street and drove off. We've highlighted and slowed down this video so you can see it better. Watch the left side of the screen. He just kept on going, too. He didn't even check if anyone was in the car or if any debris. Mark Minoas is out of town, so we talked to him over Skype. He told me he spent years fixing this car and just finished it. Feeling pretty sad. That was, um, that was a project between me and my friends and, I guess, my dad. And see it crushed like that was, was pretty sucks. He says it's totaled. The bumper was ripped off the car and the back of it completely smashed. Manoas's girlfriend says she was shocked to see this happen in their East Arlington neighborhood. It's so sad that it finally came into fruition and then someone like destroyed it and ran away. We're working to find who owns this truck. Neighbors are now sharing this video, hoping someone might recognize it or know why this driver was in the Waterleaf neighborhood so early in the morning. Manoa says he's just glad no one was hurt. Was that he gunned it, gunned it out of the neighborhood, full speed. Scary. Manoa says that he did file a police report with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office, and we're working to get that right now, actually. If you happen to see a commercial truck with any kind of damage from the impact of this crash, be sure to call Crime Stoppers. That call can remain anonymous. Reporting live in East Arlington, Elizabeth Pace, CBS 47, Action News Jack.